月本って勝ったのはいいんだよあーはあせーの五十連勝とかっつう話さなあペコあーそうっすねいやうちの弟も高校で打ってんだけどよいっぺん対戦したらしいんだもう全然すげって人間技じゃねえって話よ卓球続けてく自信なくすほど強えってなはあロボットと打ってるみてえなんだとえこれおばばマジかわいいじゃんペコにビールはダメだぞジュースあったろジュースお前初めて来た時<笑>母ちゃんの銅像写真撮ってたろピンポンガール母ちゃんダウンスハーさんでえこれが海洋理事長風間のじいさんだ本当だおーいよしよしほら狭いね世の中みんなお皿なじみさ飯食って早く寝ろそれから母ちゃんお前の膝心配してたぞ母ちゃんも卓球やめたの膝痛ったからだからな大丈夫なんだろうなおーいここで寝んなよ水田村に一つクエスチョンそのおかっぱ頭の星野がね次のインハイで月本に勝つ確率ってさどれくらいあるの<笑>てめえが見捨てた戦士じゃねえかよ答えになってないよ確率は苦手だねあの子は他と比べられないんだよだから見極めにくいしかし才能だけで言うなら海王の風間隆一ははるかに really? そいつだけは確かだうっさーベルデンカズマ ?I gotta see that for myself トーナメント表うん一回戦は知ってる一年坊で楽勝なんだけどはっきり言いなおいペコお前の二回戦の相手誰コウウェンガだ That's the matchup I wanted to see too. New and improved Peko versus Kong. <laughs> nice. Ah, Shangjala. Ah, Shangjala. So, Nikai sent them all China, eh? Daga, so they quit her. Mata Junke Show, Kazama, they taste the idea. Smile, smile to Atarato Sreva Kishoda. Yats no Java to Yeva. 3回戦で当たる真田ぐらいであとは敵じゃねえな強いのそいつ海洋の負傷だそうサンキューみちおさんおいら行くなんだ試合まで時間があるぞ言っとくよそうかよーしぶちかましてこいドーンと男を上げてこいよペガマイナリーさあ気落ちするかと思ったが案外ケロッとしてやがるな母ちゃんてっぺん目指せばいずれは怪物にぶつかる腹くくったってことだろうよあっちゃ最低最悪マジかよ<笑>死にてえとほほほほぶちかましてくれ太陽削れうん、ファンのダンスベビー。カウントバッキー。ダンス。ダドマドライブ。The spin is yo, how is he getting the ball to spin that much? That's crazy. His spin is nuts, bro. ダメでねえかこりゃまったくハサタだね恋が世界レベルがやっと海王のレギュラーさなれたのにデビュー戦が恋が<笑>才能が This spin is crazy 怒られっかないやなどもわがレギュラーさなれたのも
海王がおじぶれてきたせいかもしれねえからな花から誰もわさな期待してねっかイレブン2マッチトゥーコンセンシュレザーケイレシーはダーボーイペコエンスマールザップトゥー I want to see some, um, this dude. What's his name? Sanada? I think I'm always in the toilet before he plays. Hey, hey. You are a little bit of a car. So, come to go. You're a little bit of a car. Come on. Game two. Skimoto says. You got to do a car. I'm not. Skimoto Makoto. I'm not. 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 スピードすべてが桁違いだ<笑>リュウイチああボスどうした十二番台コンウェンガはいよく見ておけ間違いなく上で当たるそれはどうでしょう彼ファーストを落としますねアウト点セブン星野選手なんか星野誰だよわかりません。今頃コンの頭の中はパニックだろうぜ。なんせ一年前にスコンクで吹っ飛ばした相手なんだからね。し、这小子真的是一年前那个西瓦头吗？完全不一样。他的球不这样。认错人了？啊，好快！没错，就是他。反手的缺点还没有克服过来。那为什么不用反面？不就是为了这个才贴的胶吗？他会不会反面？到底会不会啊？根本没有反面，文哥，别让他的球拍吓着你。哎呀，他还没有学会用反面打球呢。好啊。你好。你小子，行啊。嘿，什么子？<laughs> He tricked him again. Level eight. Game two. Hoshi no Tenshu. Kon ga game tolare ta ze. Ano pen holder ura tsukatte nzo. Katako Hoshi no. Data arai naose. Hoa mi de na back de shita ne. Hmm. Ah, yaro. Ura men wa mazu kakushita de tamise toro ni. Hattari nante no aite ga ichiryu de aru koto kikun da yo. Ai shite ru ze, Peko. Shut up. ちょっと君。試合中だよ、月本選手。はい。すみません。お帰り、ヒーロー。<笑>おや。あらら。地形の見えたも急に覚えやがった。You see that shot just now？ まったくなんてこだよ。見る見る間に成長していく。うん。あの子にとっちゃ遊びなんだろうよ人の背中関係ってあっという間に駆け上る恐ろしいことだまったく今が焦って自滅したと見るのが妥当だろうなええしかしシュッシャッエイナインシックス星野選手<笑>覚えてるかあなた私と初めて試合したあなた一点取れない私からシェイシェイだぜコンさんあんたのおかげでオイラ一つ強くなることができたよあんたはオイラに飛び方を教えてくれたフンテンス才能かもうすんだのかねミスター月本ええさすがに早いな見てくださらなかったんですかなあどうせ勝つ試合だ<笑>負けましたよえ冗談ですよ<笑>星野ですねああ彼面白い卓球をやっているよ。ドライブだ。何
なんだ見ていかないのかどうせ勝つ試合ですアウト天星分星野選手こいつは来るぞいい子だ早知道就去欧洲定居去瑞典去德国哪儿不好首先是进四强然后就是全国联赛日本呐封建就交给你了啊机票拿好了吗文哥文文我等着你回来啊ピンチの時にはオイラを呼びな心の中で3回唱えろヒーロー剣山ヒーロー剣山ヒーロー剣山そうすりゃオイラがやってくるピンポン星からやってくる Alright, guys, what can I say, man? These two episodes were really good. I know I expound a lot after that episode, the first first episode, episode seven. I talked a lot、um, about, you know, certain things that happened in that episode, the relationship between the coaches and the students.、Um, they really kind of explored that a little bit more in、um, episode seven. Then in episode eight, they had. Um, the matches, the competition, as they're trying to make it to inter high. So, top four goes to inter high, right?、Um, those matches were very good, but I want to talk about specifically about Peko's development, him coming back to beat,、um, to, to be, to be who he's supposed to be. Add hard work. To talent, and then it, it's what I say, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think in the last upload, you know, I talked about singers, you know what I'm saying? And people think that singing is something that you're born with that ta- you're born with that talent, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to keep using it for it to work. Trust me, talented people have to work on their talent for it to be. Consist- consistently good. This goes for every single talent that is out there that you can think about. If whatever you're good at, whether it's math or you know what I'm saying, whatever you're talented at, whatever you're a genius at, it takes practice to continuously do it over and over again at the pinnacle, right? Yes, you might be able to still be able to sing, but At the end of the day, you try and not don't sing for five years and see if you still can hit that high note after five years. You won't be able to. Okay?、Um, so that's just my stance on that. And I've always believed that even if you're talented, you still got to work hard to get to where you want to go. It's going to be super easier for you, but you still got to work, work at it. Um, so when it comes on to Peko, I love his development over these two episodes, man. I love what he did. Um, old lady training him, um, you know, and the love between the two of them. Um, of course, she's joking around when she's like, I love you, give me a hug, and all of that, and all of that stuff, you know. It's good to have that kind of relationship as long as it's not overboard, because I know I don't want to get into the territory of. You know, the, 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 um, cause, cause as I'm saying that, you know, stuff c o m e to my mind, 
you know, but I don't want to go in that direction where, you know, talking about the stuff that happens in gymnastics and stuff like that. Like, that stuff is just, it's over the top. And these coaches, they go way too far. You know what I'm saying? I, and I'm not a fan of abuse. I hate abuse, especially when it's sexual abuse. Um, it It's so cringe. And it's, 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 it's such, it's something that I don't, I love talking about it as in, you know, talking to someone about it and what they could do to change it and, and, and stuff like that. But the, the cultural impact that these things have, it's just absolutely ridiculous, um, on a grand scale, you know, and people don't think how their actions can affect people can affect future generations and affect the, the just the sport in general when things go too far um you know but i do think that you know coaches and players they have to have a the, the you know a mutual goal and also the motivation to hit that goal together so you're always going to have that close relationship if you don't more than likely the team will fail more than likely that individual will fail i'm telling you this because if it's not meshing if if, if the person thinks they're too talented to listen to their coach why have a coach in the first place you know so i love the fact that they're um that the coach um took mr smile out you know to the theme park i love the fact that the old lady and peko they have this great relationship where as in you know he kind of looks to her like that's his you know parent or even if you want to play around with it and say you know you know girlfriend or or whatever the situation because that's how they play it up in the episode where you know in in the anime so when we all know it's not it's not like that you know what i'm saying she's just doing that kind of motivate him you know what i'm saying and you know and it comes off very jokingly and, and jovial so i i don't mind it as as long as it's not to the point of abuse <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh as i said i don't want to go too much into that territory territory but man i feel very sad for kong why I feel sad for him because he's realizing that, you know what I'm saying, even though he got knocked down and now he's much more humble and he came back even better, he still got beat in the second round by Peko, which is, you know what I'm saying, like Peko is on another level now. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to who who's gonna play Tsukimoto in the final. I don't see him losing until he gets to the final, depending on who he plays, whether it be Kazuma or Peko. Um, but it looks like I think Kazuma will beat Peko. I really do. I think Kazuma is gonna beat Peko. We're gonna get um, a match between Tsukimoto and, and and Kazuma. I think I that's what I'm predicting. I don't know if that's what's going to happen because I don't I don't think Peko is there yet as in on Kazuma's level to beat Kazuma even though the old lady said he could I don't think I think they're kind of underestimating Kazuma a little bit just a tad bit because I think the dude is ridiculous he practices hard um he has a lot of tools to his disposal too that a lot of other players don't do uh that um they don't have I mean so there's that factor too to consider um, I mean, the dude was practicing with three machines, shooting balls at him at, the, at practically one after the other. He on a rotating disc. I mean, this dude is practice level is nuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, you know what I mean? So talking about talent and hard work coming together, these guys are the epitome of it. So it's really hard to tell who's going to win what. You know what I mean? So, I'm looking forward to the next matches. I'm also paying attention to that that guy that's like he's like the the second dude to um to Kazuma over at Kayo, the one that was acting weird towards Kazuma's girl. Never approach a woman like that, okay? No. You you, you don't. And that's and it's wrong, too. I mean, you don't know their relationship. Like, you know, 
I'm the type of person like this, like, especially when it's somebody I know, I'm not going to approach that girl. Even if I know that it's my friend's, I know that it's my friend's girl. And even if I know that my friend is treating that girl really bad, I'm not going to approach them with flowers and say, oh, you should be with me. Like, I'm not that type of guy. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to wait till that relationship run its course. If I really, really like this girl that much, I am going to wait. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I do think it's in poor taste of a person to approach a girl while they're still in a relationship, even if it's a bad relationship and you know it. I just really believe that that's it's just wrong. You know what I'm saying? This is my belief. You might believe something different because you maybe have taken some girl from, you know, their man or whatever. Like, I've never done that, not planning to because it's just not my personality to do stuff like that. But in any case, when it comes on to everything that's going on in this anime, man, it's brilliant, completely brilliant. I love the style that Kong came back with, with a, a lot of spin. Um, I love the story that was that um, that um, Mr. Smile, the coach. I love the, the story that he told. As you see, I paused it to even talk about it because a lot of us would not have done something like that, would not have sacrificed basically your career for a friend. And then you not you not looking at it and say, oh, the friend is going to screw you over. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, for me, as I have put myself in that situation that has happened to me before, you know, at the end of the day, my conscience is clear. And that's one of the things that we don't consider because you dis if you do the opposite thing, as in if he had went ahead and destroyed his friend's career, he would have had to live with that for the rest of his life, knowing that he destroyed a friend. You get what I'm saying? When you know... I mean, look at him now. He's training one of the best. You get what I'm saying? Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. I know that. But at the same time, you know, I really do feel like he did the right thing. In the end, he did the right thing. Um, and I think that knowing who Sukimoto is, I think he would have done the same. I think he would have done the same. They're so relatable and so much alike. And... Is, he's the perfect coach for him but thank you guys so much for tuning in man hope you guys enjoy these two episodes as much as i do um you know it's agree to disagree if you disagree with when you know what i'm saying with any of my points all opinions are welcome here as i said before um people in the comment section as long as you keep it respectful you will get respect back from me um, you know, I don't expect anybody to be, you know, calling me names or anything like that. It's been a while since I've addressed this, but I do like to tap it in every now and then. But, you know, um, for the, you know, overall perspective, you know, nobody has done it in recent times. It's just sometimes I like to tap it in there and, you know, you know remind you guys, you guys are doing an excellent job of, you know, saying your opinions, leaving comments very respectfully. Um, if you disagree with anything that I say, so it's fine. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys next time for episode nine. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy Terror Bar. Yes, remember you are Terror Squad, and we will be back for another episode of Ping Pong, the animation. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and like the video. If you watch this to the end, man, you guys are awesome. Peace.